Well, how does the day find you, fellow Arisens? It is I, Captain Stephen. Today, chums, we're doing an unseen rival mission in Dragon's Dogma. Now, this is over near to the Great Wall encampment at Buster Crags. So, we're going to be heading over there because I have a port crystal right outside that big Great Wall fort and encampment. Yes, where we fought off against the giant boss dragon. I guess. So let's go there. Nice. Buster Crags. Yeah, I hope I pronounced that correct. I'm probably not. But anyway, let's tell the Porta Mondo. Heck yes. Awesome. So, yes, this mission. I'm going to be going up against a gore cyclops. Frickin' mental. Inside of the Wayfire, which is pretty darn frickin' weird. I have fought cockatrice in there and other sorts of creatures, but never a gore cyclops. I can't even imagine where he's going to be inside of this cave complex. But here we go. I'm sliding down a rock face and wearing out the rubber on the bottom of my lovely witchy shoes. Awesome. Let's head on over and let's jump on in. So, yes, I had to change from being my male character to a female lead so I can dragonforge armour for my pawn. Oh, yes. And it's working out quite nicely. I'm quite liking playing as a female character in this game, to be fair. Anyhow, because I know that it's actually levelling up the pawn, which is going to be used to other players. So, we're heading it in. Now, I have to fend off quite a lot of goblins, hobgoblins, and some of those pesky freaking snow harpies. Master, snow harpy! Yeah! Yeah, you don't say. They're freaking clawing at my face. So after you've killed that, where the Cyclops normally is on the giant bridge, it's been replaced with a gore Cyclops. Holy fudge! Okay, so I'm going to cover it with a load of explosive arrowheads. Then I'm going to tell my actual pawns to go and battle it. So hopefully they go and hit it and explode it. That's the idea anyway. So I've completely illuminated this guy with explosives. Take that, freaking gore cyclops. How would you like them apples? <laughs> oh fudge! He's picked up Phoenix! No! No, let it go! <laughs> right, shoot the heck out of his eyes what my other pawns are screaming. Right, take that! Frickin no, don't clap! No, stop clapping! <laughs> Fudging! Oh my <gasps> He's gonna slam her! Oh my days! He freaking done a freaking Hulk Hogan on her! Oh my no! Freaking Phoenix, get yourself to safety! Yeah, she's rightfully healing herself now, like anything. Brilliant, nice one. I'm glad you sorted yourself out there, Phoenix, but you shouldn't have gone that close. Although I pressed forwards and said go, I meant to the two that can do combat. Right, well, there's a snow harp you fluttering about behind him, which I'm trying to take out with my ricochet, which isn't really working. So you know what? They're attacking his lower limbs. So I'm going to light the lower limbs up with exploding arrowheads so it can do double damage. So as Connor's hacking away at his legs, I'm also firing exploding arrowheads around where Connor is to really deliver some damage onto the Cyclops. Oh, he's on fire! Excellent. Additional fire damage. That's a lovely job, isn't it? Heck yes. Take that! Yes, awesome. You're going down, Cyclops. Right, well, there's a Snow Harpy there. I'm trying to hit it with a normal magic arrow. Boom! He's dead. Snow Harpy. No more problems from Snow Harpy. In fact, I think Phoenix may have done something to that Snow Harpy. Yeah, she's quite good now at taking out creatures at um, a long distance. Right, oh, well, it looks like Kane has gone a little bit off on his own. Is he actually attacking Connor? Has he got some sort of curse? I don't know. But anyhow, we're attacking him and he's going down. He's, he's losing a lot of health and he's losing his health quite quickly now. There we go. Kane is now hitting him with arrows as well. Yeah, one more hit in the backside. You're dead, Gore Cyclops. Down you go. Gladly falling the opposite way, not this way. I can grab all this loot. Lovely, lovely loot. And yes, I'm now over encumbered. Well, pretty much. I'm very heavy. It's that helmet that I must have got is very heavy. Heavy metal helmet. Brilliant. Awesome. We can add that into our stash. We'd have a better look at the helmet once we get back to Grand Soren. So I might just teleport back to Grand Soren, but yeah, let's just uh, swing around. Ah, oh, look at that waterfall in the background. It's really quite a nice looking game for a 10 year old game. It doesn't, it hasn't lost anything. It's still very playable and very nice to look at. Right, oh, well, let's use my teleporting fairy stone back to Grand Soren. We'll better have a better look at the helmet. Then I've got a few thank yous for people that took out my pawn on travel. So here's the helmet here. Now I can't actually really look at it. Let's move to equipment and see if I can move, see it better in equipment. It'd be better if I could move it on to a character that might be able to use it. Right, so give. Let's just give that to Phoenix for a second. Let's see if she can wear it. I doubt it, being a mage. No, no, but if uh, yeah, Mystic Knight can use it. It's a shame you can't assign your pawn as being a magical archer or a Mystic Knight. I'd love to have a Mystic Knight with me. Or, or to make her a Mystic Knight. That'd be
be pretty darn sweet. But anyway, let's have a look and see if we can at least see the write-up. So we can. A helm that invokes the inexhaustible vitality of the Hydra. It continuously restores health of its wearer. No fudging. That's freaking awesome. Heck yes, that's awesome. What a lovely helmet to have in my inventory. So yeah, thank you very much, Dark Angel, also known as a Dark Hellboy. And thank you for those 40,000 Rift Crystals. And Hyperion, that nearly gave us 55,000. Well, 55,000 is, yeah. So thank you very much, Hyperion. Very, very thankful for both of you for taking out my pawn on missions. And it looks like we came back with some extra knowledge of liches. Brilliant! Awesome. Well, thank you very much. That, that That's awesome. Yeah, I, hopefully I'll be able to return the favour. I know I've already taken out Dark Hellboy's pawn on a couple of missions and gave you a load of armour. So there we go. Awesome. So Dark Hellboy is another content creator for No Man's Sky as well. Got a channel. If I can find it, I'll put a link. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.